howling winds, biting cold, and near whiteout conditions. None of it was enough to keep visitors to old Montreal from taking in the sights. For some, it was a chance to experience a real Montreal winter. I mean, we have to dress, dress up very well, but uh, it's the way it is. One of the most stunning parts of any city I've ever been to. It's so beautiful. There's so much history. I feel like I'm in Europe or something. And it's freshly snow laid as well. We've gone to Montreal in the winter time. Is that a little insane? I don't know. It is beautiful. Like it is beautiful. When winter comes howling into Montreal, it lays siege to Canada's biggest city by dumping eight feet of snow onto the streets between November and April. So much snow in this city. I don't know how they function. I don't know how. Look at this pretty built. I don't know how they're able to function like so well with so much freaking snow. If it snows again for one more night, it might cover the whole fence. Yo, look at all the snow piled up over there. Some areas taller than the fence. Montreal isn't the snowiest city in the country, but it is on the higher end. The metropolis of French Canada gets 40% more snow than Halifax, 70% more than Toronto, and almost five times as much as Vancouver. Combine that with low temperatures preventing snow from melting as quickly, and Montreal has a lot of snow to deal with. 60 billion cubic feet of snow picked up all the way every winter. In this motor age, even a six inch snowfall can paralyze a city by crippling its transportation. So Montreal, a city more vulnerable than most because it is built on an island and around a mountain, fights grimly back against an enemy that always returns. And so the word goes out. Park all cars off the streets. Make way for the snow fighters. This is a snow removal operation. So for those of you that do not live in Montreal or do not live in Canada, this is what happens after a snowstorm. They bring out these snow plows. Welcome to the wonderful world of Montreal snow removal. This city's management of winter is an impressive and mesmerizing logistical accomplishment. In a city that receives on average some 250 centimeters of snow every winter, the operation must be both safe and efficient. It's like a big red combine harvester, except for snow. The city tells me this site is the size of 23 football fields. At its peak, the snow mountain behind me can get up to 10 stories tall. And this is only the city's third biggest snow dump. This is the job that has to be done. The complex patterns of a great city's daily life, all based on communication, are to be kept from breakdown. Almost got ran off the road. Ah ouais, comment il déblaye le trottoir. C'est pas des zigzags qu'il a fait. Ouais, de ouf. Au, au moins, au moins, ce qui est cool, c'est que tu vois, tu marches pas sur la neige, tu marches, tu vois, genre le trottoir est déblayé. C'est pour ça que, en fait, je me pose la question. Comment ils font pour déblayer le trottoir bah, Mais ça, euh, du ça. coup, du coup, on a notre réponse en fait. Plusieurs modèles. Il y, a, il y a lui, il y en a pour les plus petits trottoirs, il y en a plus gros et tout. On a vu genre ceux qui déblayent les, les parkings, les, les parkings, parkings, aussi, ah, ouais. oui, parkings hier. En fait, ce qu'ils ont. Il y avait des grosses balayeuses. <rire> ouais, et, et, ils ont des de, 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 de... Comment ça s'appelle ça Ah bah ça, 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 ça ah bah oui. Ça, c'est ce qu'ils ont Eh, on pourra faire le monde It takes a lot of heavy equipment. Blowers, plows, graders, tractors, spreaders and jeeps. 40,000 tons of sand, 20,000 tons of salt, and a mobile force of 2,700 men to fight these winter battles, to keep the streets open for traffic. Snow removal operations in Montreal is as quintessential as all these old vintage staircases. The snow plows in Montreal do a great job. Even when it's still snowing, you see snow plows very quickly clearing the roads, clearing the sidewalks. I gotta give a big thumbs up to Montreal for that. Snow management in Montreal begins during the snowfall, when plows try their best to keep roads, sidewalks, and bike lanes still usable by pushing away the snow. This part is pretty similar to other cities, except that it's a bit more comprehensive here. But the really fascinating part of winter management here isn't the snow plowing, it's the snow removal. Pushing snow to the side is just a temporary fix here. The actual solution is to collect snow from neighborhoods and truck it to snow dumps around the city, including this former quarry whose snow piles stick around well into the summer. The removal of unwanted snow from Montreal's streets and sidewalks is a major enterprise. To ensure the viability of a metropole like Montreal during the winter, you have to spend a budget of about 165 million dollars. The city of Montreal has the largest snow removal budget in the world. Operations totaled 192 million dollars in 2018. Oh, I love how those things 360, man. Hey, now, man, that guy shifts fast. Holy sh.
A little over a century ago, snow removal was considerably different than it is today. Until 1905, it was the responsibility of ordinary citizens to help out with carrying away the white stuff from the public domain. As such, in the late Victorian period, it was not uncommon for city dwellers to be found in the middle of a fast-growing St. Catherine Street, pitching in to clear both the sidewalks and the thoroughfare of drifting snow. At times, the snow was so deep that even the tramway service was halted. Children, and sometimes adults, were frequently dwarfed by the snowstorm conditions. Later in that first decade of the 20th century, the slightest hint of snow would incite hundreds of unemployed men to swarm City Hall in search of work on a snow-clearing team. With shovels and small horse-drawn carts, they toiled away for 20 cents an hour to eliminate the hogbacks, what snowbanks were called back then. Despite their good intentions, the pace was extremely slow, leaving residents quite unhappy. Snow removal only began to change with the arrival of motorized vehicles. The power-driven snowplow enabled men to move greater quantities of snow and much more quickly. The plow itself could be rapidly mounted to a streetcar to clear tramway tracks. The creation of the snowplow was quickly followed by that of the snowblower, its invention credited to Arthur Sicard, a Montrealer, who two years later saw it first used in the city of Outremont. Le problème de l'enlèvement de la neige est à peu près résolu depuis que l'inventeur canadien-français a construit une machine reconnue comme la plus efficace et la plus rapide au monde. Une souffleuse remplit en effet en moins de 15 secondes un camion de 5 tonnes. Pour ce faire, il s'inspire de la moissonneuse batteuse qui sert à récolter le blé dans les champs. Il pulvérisait la neige pour l'envoyer 75 pieds plus loin. Et c'était son, son mécanisme pour propulser la neige qui a été le, le, le cœur de son invention et de son innovation. It was Sicard's device that greatly intrigued my friends and me in our youth. It could scoop up snow and dispose of it so quickly that carting trucks could hardly keep up. It was an amazing spectacle for inquisitive kids. Et l'invention québécoise est exportée par la suite eh bien, partout dans le monde. Et faire le marquage, M. Gagnon, on en a même jusqu'en Russie. Cette invention a aussi joué un rôle très important dans l'entretien et la sécurisation des pistes d'atterrissage. Le fait qu'on ait oublié comme ça Arthur Sicard, qu'on ait oublié son nom, qu'on ne relie plus le nom de Sicard avec cette invention de la souffleuse à neige, eh bien, ça nous rappelle qu'il faut faire un effort collectivement pour nous souvenir de nos grands inventeurs, de nos pionniers. La compagnie Sicard est maintenant disparue, mais l'invention est là pour longtemps. The process of snow removal starts with an orange sign prohibiting parking on one side of the street within an upcoming 12-hour period. People can take their cars to different streets or to one of a number of designated winter parking lots. This information is also available on the InfoNedge website and app. A website and app with up-to-date information on the status of each street, including whether parking is prohibited and whether snow removal is planned, underway, or complete. It even lets you follow the location of plows on the map. Là, on voit ici que euh, les citoyens ont été très sages. Hein? Il n'y a aucune voiture. Donc, Ou du moins, le reste ici, de ce côté-ci, ça va bien. Mais quand il y a une voiture là, qui est là, ça représente quoi en temps d'arrêt? Ou, une voiture euh, c'est, c'est... standard. Je ne parle pas de traction intégrale ouais. ou de 4x4. On parle d'un bon 10 minutes. Et de ces 10 minutes-là, ces remorquages-là, il y en a combien à peu près dans une saison d'hiver? En moyenne, on parle environ 50 000 remorquages. Montréalais, Montréalaise, vous reconnaissez sans aucun doute ce son, celui de la sirène qui rappelle aux automobilistes de déplacer leur véhicule. When they expect the actual snow operations to happen soon, the fleet of tow trucks comes out to prowl. The siren is meant as a last-minute warning to get people to move their cars. Sometimes they stroll down streets blaring it as a notice to everyone, and sometimes they stop in front of a particular car, honking and clanging as a very final warning before towing it. C'est nécessairement agréable à entendre à chaque nuit. Je trouve que c'est super dérangeant, surtout quand c'est vraiment tôt le matin. Là. Je suis là à travailler, je suis en plein appel, puis là j'entends des sirènes. Elle peut finir, il passe 15 minutes, 10, 20 minutes, 30 minutes plus tard. C'est comme ça depuis que euh, je suis tout petit. Il y aurait sûrement moyen de faire euh, autrement. Faire autrement, la ville de Montréal y songe. On se demande, est-ce que c'est encore utile? Pour le savoir, un projet pilote a été lancé au début de l'hiver. On fait un dénombrement avant le passage de la remorque et après. Alors comme ça, on va être capable de savoir si l'effet de la sirène a permis à des gens de déplacer leur véhicule. Et c'est pourquoi la réussite d'une opération d'éneigement demande la collaboration de tout un chacun. Reste maintenant à voir s'il est possible d'y arriver en délaissant la fameuse sirène. On the positive side, 
the tow truck sirens seemed to get less frequent over the course of the winter, as people get better at moving their cars. With all of the cars out of the way, the snowplows come through, including smaller ones handling precision work like sidewalks and curbs, and a larger one gathering up all of that snow to put it in the middle of the road. C'est au-delà de 2200 appareils. Chacun a son rôle à jouer au bon moment, au bon endroit. Cette valse de véhicules lourds, ben ça permet à notre ville, notre métropole, de demeurer euh, ouverte en tout temps, 24 heures par jour. Alors essentiellement, on a trois niveaux de priorité. Sur une priorité 1, une rue artérielle, on va le faire en 4 heures. Alors on va tasser la neige à peu près en 4 heures. Sur une rue résidentielle, on va prendre jusqu'à 8 heures. Pourquoi c'est si long? Ben notre réseau il fait 10 000 km. Alors, c'est l'équivalent de traverser l'Atlantique et faire l'aller-retour Montréal-Bruxelles. This is a massive, synchronized operation covering the entire city over a few days, with lots of moving pieces, including empty dump trucks waiting in line for the snowblower. Beautiful job! You know, I once heard from somebody, people like to watch people work. Well, if that's the case, then a lot of people, and I mean a lot, love to watch machines working. You're not coming in here too fast, Mr. Taxi Driver. <laughs> Once all the snow is assembled in the middle of the road, the most dramatic step happens, where a large snowblower comes through to gobble up the snow and spit it out into a dump truck or a semi-trailer truck following along right beside it. Afterwards, you can still get smaller plows coming through again, tidying up any leftover snow. The results are impressive. Because this is snow removal and not just snow clearing, streets can look completely different before and after, especially for bigger snowfalls. Notre dernière étape, c'est l'élimination de la neige. Dans une chute à l'égout ou sur un site de surface, l'opération est assez simple. On arrive ici avec le camion. Le camion va décharger sa neige dans l'égout à 30 mètres de profondeur. Wait for it! Wow! Ever neat! Alors cette neige-là, dans les prochaines heures, va se retrouver à Rivière-des-Prairies et va être traitée directement par notre station d'épuration à Montréal. Évidemment, l'opération est plus complexe qu'avant. Jusqu'à la fin des années 90, décharger la neige directement dans le fleuve. Ça, ça se fait plus. Daylight has not yet come, and truckloads of snow are being added to this already massive pile in La Salle. 24 hours a day, these heavy-duty blowers are sending the snow high into the air. If they don't maximize the space, the dump will be full in no time. Earlier in the week, the city had to stop shipping snow here. The blowers couldn't keep up. The Saint Michel Quarry, a gigantic crater in the middle of the neighborhood of Saint Michel, the size of 98 soccer fields, or 12 times the Olympic Stadium, up to 150 to 200 trucks an hour, come dump snow removed from the city streets into it, which serves as the largest by far out of the city's 29 snow dump sites, receiving 40 percent of all the snow removed from the island of Montreal. We're in front of Montreal Snow Glacier. This year, we still have a lot of snow. It never completely melts because there's so much of it that it actually remains. Friday morning, the city said snow removal was 97% done in Montreal. But when your street is one of the only ones that looks like this, it's hard to be impressed by this. Yeah, it's really frustrating. Like, you get here and you're like, oh, it's still not clean. Puis il y a toujours ceux pour qui c'était mieux avant. Que ce soit maintenant ou il y a 60 ou 75 ans, eh bien le déneigement a toujours été une source de frustration. Est-ce que les rues sont assez bien déblayées à Montréal pour vous pour travailler? Pas, pas assez, non. Est-ce qu'ils sont bien nettoyés habituellement les rues? Euh, les grandes rues, oui. By and large, with a few exceptions, Montreal comes in well. Est-ce qu'on n'est pas les plus rapides? On doit être dans le top 3, là, parce que vraiment, on est habitué de gérer ça de la neige. Fait à noter, Montréal est une des rares villes dans le monde qui ramasse sa neige pour l'entreposer ailleurs le temps qu'à fond. Pas si vous le saviez, mais ça, c'est une fierté mondiale. Alors, regardez le tas de neige qu'ils font près de chez vous. Soyez fiers. Est-ce qu'on est vraiment les meilleurs? Ah oui, on vient de Belgique, de Vladivostok, on vient de Beijing pour voir comment on travaille ici. Puis je peux vous dire qu'après avoir passé du temps l'année passée avec la Fédération des déneigeurs russes de Russie, je peux vous dire qu'il était extrêmement impressionné. And although the men of the city streets department look on snow as their silent enemy, Montrealers also know it as an unfailing source of beauty, pleasure, and delight. It is a beautiful city, even in the winter time, I have to admit. It's beautiful. I would love to see it during the summer, but it definitely has like a very big winter culture with lots. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. I agree. It really leans into the whole winter, winter Christmassy sort of aesthetic, which I love. 
Locals find all of this so normal that they can't understand why you would possibly be interested enough to film it. But the whole spectacle really is fascinating to us. Montrealers who hear our amazement might wonder how things work differently where we're from. The funny thing is that snow clearing in other places we've lived wasn't interesting or disruptive enough for us to really notice or remember like it is here. So all you people watching from other countries, you still want to move to Canada? Bring a shovel. Traffic begins to pick up again. Soon its ebb and flow will be back to normal, while the snow fighters await the next threat from wintry skies.